I felt a little different and that I didn't know everybody. It was kind of scary because I didn't know anybody there but my old teacher, Andrew. He um, just really helped our crew become crew. Walking into downtown Denver Expeditionary School, a sign reads, We are crew, not passengers. The message is clear. We are a community that works together toward our learning goals. Building a strong sense of classroom community is the foundation for the learning that happens for the rest of the year. Um, so before we can jump into an expedition where kids are going to be pushed past their comfort zones um, academically and socially and emotionally, um, it's really essential that we've built that sense of crew. For me, it's really important because it helps my students feel safe. And in art, um, I push I, I push them a lot and I ask them to take a lot of risks. We also get a lot of peer critique and peer feedback and so they have to feel safe to be honest with one another and, and take critique and use that to help push their work. While the Common Core Standards don't address social and emotional development, we can build community in the context of standards-based projects. A narrative writing standard exists at each grade level, K through 12. What happens when we expand our approach to narrative writing? And how does a focus on personal narrative through poetry and art develop students' sense of belonging? My six-word poem says, Hanukkah is an awesome time, Drake. Two big hippos with a baby. So students collected many different moments about their lives that they thought really represented them, represented their families. Then they went through these memoirs and chose what they thought were six really powerful words that were emblematic of, of the spirit of what it is they were trying to convey about themselves and the narrative that they had written. We went to the there for two weeks in August. Um, to see my birth family. When we were going on a river safari, we just saw these two big heads pop up of hippos. They yawned at us, opened their mouth very wide, and then uh, we saw a baby I poke up. I was remembering having Hanukkah with my aunt at her cabin. We would pray straight over, and it was always fun. One, we drew self-portraits, realistic self-portraits. Um, number two, we watercolored um, a background that was represented their memoir. And number three, they um, stamped six, six or seven words on top of, of the watercolor. For me, narrative is the most powerful tool of building community that's available to us as teachers. And over the years, I've seen the power of allowing kids to come into a new space and to tell their story and to say, this is who I am, but also to listen to other kids um, share their narrative. I see self-portraits as a form of um, personal narrative in just a visual arts form. Um, these self-portraits were literally themselves with with the self-portrait drawing, but then they were they were telling a story from their life through their watercolor and through the words. And this project really helps students feel seen and known through a number of ways. Number one, literally they are seen because their self-portrait is on, you know, the drawing of their faces on the piece of art. And then um, they're also seen in a different way because their, their thoughts and their, um, their story is in art as well. It was kind of scary for me to share about Hanukkah because not a lot of other people in my class are Jewish. Most of them are Christian. So it was kind of like um, now everybody in my class is really interested in hearing about like what Jewish people do when I have a book on Judaism and I bring it in and people like to look at it. It made me feel like I was um, more of a part, more of a part of a crew.